I want to discuss audit, specifically 12C Unified Audit. In earlier releases, and indeed by default in the current release, I have to say that audit is awful. It's a mission to configure, it cripples performance, and in fact it isn't even very secure. However, we as DBAs have no choice. If the business rules state that certain actions or certain data access should be audited, we have to configure it. Unified audit is an architectural change of some significance. It replaces nearly all previously used audit methods with a new technique that is far superior. And in particular, it solves the security and performance issues of standard audit. This should be a major driver for the 12C upgrade. So let's begin by looking at the old fashioned way of doing things. Begin by seeing how auditing is set up at the moment. And standard audit is configured through parameters. I have audit sys operations set to true and audit trail on DB extended. These are the settings that I would think most sites probably use. Then enable auditing for a particular action, in this case delete on scott.emp. Execute a SQL that will meet that transaction that will meet that audit condition. Delete from scott.emp where row name equals one. Done. And then terminate the country of the transaction. I'm actually going to terminate it with a rollback. And we'll see that whether the transaction is committed or rolled back, you still get the audit record generated. How do we look at them? We query DBA audit trail. In this case, select OS username timestamp sequel text from DBA audit trail, where OBJ name equals emp. And there we see the audit record. This person at this time executed that statement. So the audit does work, but it doesn't actually work very well. 